Welcome back, Internet, to another Brainbox uh, YouTube uh, video. Today we're talking about the Aerie WCU4. Uh, this is Aerie's newest uh, handset uh, lens control system. It's a three-channel Fizz, Fizz standing for Focus Iris Zoom uh, lens control system. Um, it's really meant to work with Aerie cameras specifically. Um, it has a bunch of integrated uh, radio electronics to do that, but it can also be used uh, with pretty much any other camera on the market with just a little bit of adaptation. Uh, this video is going to give you kind of an overview and a step-by-step -step process of how to set up and use the WCU4 with an Aerie camera. Uh, today we're using an Alexa Mini and um, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So you see here on the Alexa Mini that we have set up uh, we have only two motors attached, one for the iris and one for the focus. If you're using a longer lens or a zoom lens, you'll want to have all three. Um, or some, alternatively, you can also just use one motor on the focus and adjust iris manually because that's definitely the least adjusted uh, ring on the lens. But for sake of a demonstration, we'll use these two motors that we have currently set up. We're using C-Force Mini motors. Uh, you can see that they are uh, plugged in directly to uh, the, the port on the, the lens mount on the Alexa Mini. Uh, this port will transmit all information to the motors, including power. Uh, there's no motor driver. There's no uh, external control box of any type. It's the WCU4 can communicates with the Alexa Mini directly through the Alexa Mini's internal uh, radios. So the motors will plug directly into the lens mount and then they'll be da daisy chained off each other. So right now you can only see one motor daisy chained off of the first iris motor and if we had a third mot motor on here it would be out this direction and you would see another daisy chain link going out this way. Uh, it's clean, you don't have a bunch of power cables and cables running all over the place and it's uh, nice and aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so when you're actually setting up your, uh, your focus motors, um, the green LEDs indicate that they're all calibrated and good to go, but you can also change, uh, but sometimes the motor needs to know if it's on a zoom ring, a focus ring, or an iris ring. To do so, you just press the button. So once it's lit, lit up, you can press that button again, and it will cycle. Now it's now this one's gone to zoom. If I press it again, I'll go back to focus. Press it again, I'll go back to iris. Now it's blinking because it tells me that it wants me to recalibrate itself. It's also giving me a message here on the WCU4 saying new iris motor connect. And I can either say yes or no. I'll go ahead and say yes. And it wants me to calibrate. I'll say calibrate. And it'll do a calibration on just this motor here. Well, it looks like it's going to do both motors. But that's how you can go ahead and change motors quickly from what, depending on what position they're in. And sometimes if you connect a motor when you're first setting it up, you might need to do that to tell which motor, uh, tell the system which motor is on which ring. Let's move over to the uh, WC4 unit itself. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on with the power button up here. And the Alexa Mini is already turned on. And the WCU4 is already tuned uh, to the correct channel that the Alexa Mini is on. But if for some reason you turned on a WCU4 and your camera was on a different channel or you needed to change channels for some reason, you can quickly do that in the camera menu by... I'm going to go to menu and down to a radio channel and select that. And here's where it tells me the channel I'm on. So I'm on channel four right now, and I can change that um, if, I, if my camera is set to a different channel. That's basically the only step you need to do to get the WC4 to talk to your camera. Uh, it's important to note you need to have a camera that's compatible uh, with that type of communication, or else you're going to need to use an external uh, control box. Um, the Alexa Mini is definitely compatible. Um, an Alexa XT is compatible. The new Alexa SXT should definitely be compatible. Uh, an older Alexa camera might not be compatible or an Aria Mira might, might not be compatible. If you're using one of those cameras, you'll need to grab one of, you'll need to grab something like this. This is the Aria AMC one. They also make the UMC one. And this is an external driver um, that will have to sit somewhere on your camera uh, to, so that the WC4 can communicate through this to the motors. So I'm going to go ahead, so right down here in the bottom of the menu I can see that I have an iris motor and a focus motor attached. There's, an, there's a red X next to zoom because there's no zoom on this uh, camera. Uh, it says 75 right here because it can automatically detect that I have a 75 millimeter Aerie Master Prime on the camera itself. And it's telling me that I should uh, turn lens ring or calibrate. So if I turn the lens ring, nothing is happening. So I need to go ahead and set up my calibration. Cal is over here in the uh, upper left hand corner. I'm going to press the calibrate button. And as I press that, you can see the motors automatically start doing their thing. The green flashing uh, LED on the side of them indicates calibration. 
and as they rotate through their uh, endpoints, they will turn green one after another. And then I'm all good to go. So now on the, uh, on the WCU4, I can see on the digital readout here uh, on the iris, uh, this is the iris slide, I can see exactly where my iris is at. I can open up to 1.3, and if you can see that, if you can see the motor moving as I do that, close down to 22, go all the way to 1.3. A really cool feature of this uh, of this uh, hand unit that I like is that as you adjust your f-stop, you'll see this little uh, white bar bracket get wider or narrower uh, along next to um, the focus distance. That's basically showing my depth of field. So as I stop down, my depth of field on a 75 opens up quite a bit. So I can see that I'm basically in focus from about 10 feet to about 7 feet, 6 inches, actually a little bit more. And as I open the lens all the way to 1.3, it gets extremely narrow so that I know that I need to be really accurate with my focus mark and get it right to where uh, it's actually in focus. So one of the unique advantages of using the WC4 with an Airy camera that has uh, integrated radios is that you can control the camera itself through the WC4. Um, you, could, you do that by going into the camera menu. And I can see the, stat, the status of my camera here. I can see the, it's right now it's in standby. I can see my frame rate, shutter angle, exposure, and a whole host of information. And I can change any of these, vari any of these variables. Uh, I just want to go to uh, setup. And here I can adjust things like frame rate, shutter angle, exposure index, white balance, and even uh, change ND filters on and off. It's important to note that to be able to do that kind of camera control, you do need to uh, have a license um, installed in your WC4 hand unit, uh, which is the Alexa remote license. That un that unlocks those features, basically. You can, buy, you can buy that license in the Airy uh, license shop online. Um, it's about $300 to $400, and once you get that done, it can only be assigned to one WC4 hand unit each each additional unit will need its own license as well. Another cool feature is that you can set focus marks uh, digitally on the focus unit itself. So if I go into the focus menu, say for instance I wanted to set uh, a starting focus mark at five feet. So dial that in here. And then I can, with, uh, with the index button at the top, I can go ahead and select, make a mark. And you'll see it creates a small little red line on that mark. Then I want to make another mark maybe let's say at 10 feet. So I'll go ahead and dial that in, hit the red button, and that makes a second mark. Now, whenever, I, whenever I'm uh, focusing between the two and I hit that mark, or if I go past it, the WCU4 will vibrate to give me a tactile feedback to let me know that I've hit that mark. That's a pretty cool feature. And you can also set more than two marks, of course. You can keep going if I wanted to have three or four or five marks to, to match uh, different, um, different events in the scene that I was uh, pull, pulling focus on. You can definitely do that. And to, uh, to remove a mark or to reset a mark, go ahead and do that here at the bottom. And then they all get cleared off. So you notice when I turned this camera on, it already knew, uh, the camera already told the WCU4 uh, that I was using a 75 millimeter Master Prime. Um, if you're not using a, uh, an Airy or a Zeiss lens that has lens data capabilities and, or the, and the camera doesn't have a profile for that particular lens, you can go ahead and make your own profile. So to do that, you can go into uh, Menu and scroll down to Lens Data. And then you want to go do Lens Programming. And here's where you can either create a new lens profile or edit a, an existing one. So if I going to Create Profile, it will ask me to calibrate the motors that on the, on the new lens. Even though the camera already knows what lens is on there right now, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new profile for this lens, uh, the 75 Master Prime. So I'm going to go ahead and hit calibrate as, a, as the WCU4 is prompting me to. And it, go ahead, it will go ahead and do its thing. And you can continue through these menus and make a custom lens profile for any lens that is not a uh, lens data enabled uh, Airy or Zeiss lens. This, will, this is really handy if you're using lenses from other manufacturers. And once you've made your profile in the WC4, you can take it and on the SD card, export it into a USB stick uh, and then get it into an Alexa Mini or another type of Alexa camera and then load it and save it in the camera as well. So on the, on the Alexa Mini itself, you can also access those lens data files. If you go into the menu under electronic control systems, you can then go ahead and see uh, your lens data. You can see the radio channel that I'm on, 
and a lens data and an option to calibrate lenses. So I'm going to go in here under lens data and LDA. under LDA, I can go ahead and select Those are the existing profiles that are on the lens tables that are on the camera. And I can move to add. So I'll go under add and I can select the, I'm looking for the Airy Master Prime. Seventy-five, and there it is, and it's successfully imported. Yeah. And then you hit, and then once it, once you have it brought up in the lens table, data table, you hit use, and it should and finish. And finish. And there you go. And now it's showing up correctly as the uh, the lens data in the camera. Um, another cool thing with the WC4 is that you can get pre-marked focus discs uh, that the WC4 will then understand, so you don't have to take your time and manually, with a little uh, little marker, write out your own marks on your on your discs. Um, to do that, you go ahead and pick a disc out of your WC4 case that has a close focus distance closest to the to the lens that you're currently using. So in this instance, this disc is close focus at three feet six inches. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this on here. Lock it into place. Then in the camera menu, go ahead and hit menu and under pre-marked focus ring, I'm gonna go ahead and go into that. I'm gonna select uh, three feet six inches as the focus ring that I'm currently using. And now when I turn to three feet six inches, it'll line up perfectly with the mark on the ring. I can turn a little bit. I can turn a little bit past that to the hard stop, but I won't actually do so on the lens because that's as close as the lens will get to. Something else that you should know about in the menus is uh, your motor control set and your motor setup. So if I go to motor setup, I can change the, both the torque strength and the direction uh, that the motors are turning. I'm not going to mess with that now because they're set pretty well. But if I had a very stiff older lens that needed a lot of torque to get going, that would be the place to do it. Another great thing to do is, be able to, is being able to adjust your backlight level. The backlight is the level of light uh, on the LCD screen, so let, letting you view the LCD screen in bright daylight or uh, have it dimmed down really low if you're on a dark set. To do that, you go under Menu and you just scroll down towards the bottom under Backlight, select it, and here you can uh, either dial it up or dial it down or just toggle it to Auto. Uh, WCU4 also comes with a handy dandy neck, neck strap that's really nice and comfortable. It clicks into the bottom, like so. And then you can just wear it around your neck and have it uh, dangling nice and comfortably uh, so you can go hands free when you need to. And finally, on the, uh, on the, ha on the knob itself, you can uh, depress this torque adjuster, pushing it all the way in, lets you dial up the strength of the torque resistance or dial it down so you get less resistance. Basically it's just kind of a personal preference thing if you want a little bit more resistance, if you're trying to if you want a little bit more feedback before you hit a really critical focus focus mark, or if you want it really loose because you're doing a lot of quick racks between far distances. So here at Brainbox, when we rent cameras to people, we want our clients to have uh, the most reliable and innovative products like the WCU4. So you can definitely rent this uh, if you're getting a camera package with us. Um, you can rent it in conjunction with like an Ultimate package uh, with like an Alexa Mini or pretty much any other camera type. You can use it with a RED camera. You can use it with an, an, an Alexa Classic. Um, we have the uh, devices that you'll need to equip it either way. You can get it in both single channel, uh, dual channel, or even three channel uh, for full uh, focus iris zoom control if you like, or you can get it as a standalone rental item as well. So thanks for watching our video about the Aerie WCU4. It's our newest, latest, and greatest fizz. Uh, we always like getting new toys like this at Brainbox, and we always try to make little overview videos about them for you. Uh, hope you learned something. Um, if you're an amateur just starting out, hope you could check out some other videos on our channels. Maybe you can educate yourself a little bit about a little bit about some of the other stuff we have on offer. Or if you're a professional filmmaker or an aspiring filmmaker and you're in the LA area and you want to rent one, let us know. We'd love to help you out. Thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next video. Yeah.